Starting from 2010, our group has described for the first time the existence of the pathological hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease in the retina of patients, including early stage cases. And since then, um, our group and others have corroborated those findings and further found other pathological changes in the retina of these patients. This includes a hyperphosphorylation of tau, oligomers, um, uh, vascular changes, uh, neurodegeneration, uh, and so forth. Inflammation, of course, gliosis. Our team has built and uh, took advantage of USC ADRC Biobank, of paired brain and retina from the same patients with uh, a highly described clinical and neuropathological reports. And we've uh, developed a technique, a biochemical and histological techniques to isolate and prepare those retinal tissues and analyze them for Alzheimer's signs. So since then, uh, we've uh, uh, prepared flat mount retinas and cross sections and unique uh, isolation of uh, the vascular network that allowed us also to identify specific cellular and molecular changes in the vessel, in the neurovascular unit in these, chain, in, uh, these patients. So before that, um, there was a recent um, studies that shows that the PDGFR beta uh, that is in, uh, described or expressed by pericytes and smooth muscle cells uh, are deficient, undergo deficiency in the brains of these patients, but no one knew what's happening in the retina. And so because we have the largest biobank, we were able to look both uh, at large, relatively large sample size of patients with mild cognitive impairment and Alzheimer's disease as compared to cognitively normal individuals. But we could also, because we prepared those long strips uh, that span across a lot of topographical regions in the retina, we could look at different regions in the retina that were overlooked in, uh, previously. So uh, basically this technique and analysis allowed us to see um, new things and explore and find new things in the retina of these patients, such as capillary loss, so loss of small uh, vessels in, in the eye, uh, and loss of uh, or deficiency of PDGFR beta and parasites, uh, which was tightly associated with accumulation of toxic forms of amyloid beta, among those are amyloid beta 40 and 42. These are two types of alloforms that are specifically associated with Alzheimer's disease. And specifically, A beta 40 has been found to be deposited in cerebral amyloid angiopathy or CAA. And so what we have found that those vascular changes in the retina predicted changes in the, uh, in the brain of these patients, both in terms of pathology, but also in terms of cognitive status. So this is very, very exciting and novel, and this could lead to hopefully uh, non-invasive, inexpensive, um, you know, patient-friendly uh, mean to look or detect Alzheimer's disease early on and also monitor response to therapy or, or progression of the disease.